In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a transparent background in Photoshop. So let's assume that you already have your graphic file in Photoshop ready to edit, and you want this white square here to be transparent. Well, the easiest way to get this done would be to make a duplicate layer. So we right click on this layer background, we select duplicate layer, and we can just simply click on OK. Now we're going to delete the background layer. We select it, hit this trash can, yes, delete background. Okay, now we're going to select the selection tool and we're going to select this white box and hit delete on the keyboard. And when we hit delete on the keyboard we can see this checkerboard pattern. That's how we know that we've gone all the way through the layers and this area will be transparent. Now if you want to be more abstract than a square, you could always use the eraser tool and you could right click on your image to adjust the brush size. So I'll make it a little bit smaller brush. And I could slowly erase a part of my image. And as long as I see that checkerboard, then I'll know that that area will be transparent. Another easy way would be to use the selection tool, the magic wand, and to select and then hit delete. Select, delete, delete, delete. So that this whole area, whatever's behind it, will show through. So here's the key. Now that we've decided what areas on our image that we want to be transparent, we need to save the file. So we go to File, Save As, and we need to save it as a PNG. We cannot save it as a JPEG or a .gif or a BMP. We need to save it as a PNG. So I'm going to select PNG, and then I'm going to hit Save. PNG options, interlace, none, OK. And you can see my PNG image shows up here on my desktop. And if you look closely, I actually saved it as a JPEG. And if you save it as a JPEG, it will fill that area with white automatically. But if you save it as a PNG, it'll keep that area transparent. So that's how you save an image in Photoshop with a transparent background. I hope this video was helpful. And let me know how it worked. Thanks.